Hey guys, this is LJ and welcome back to How To Hydro. In this episode, we're gonna be going over adding up your air conditioning needs. Number one issue of grow rooms I've gone into all over the country has typically been the temperatures are too high. And this can range in a number of problems from spider mites tripling their reproductive rate. That happens at higher temps. Um, the plants can stall out growing, just all kinds of negatives. So keeping your temp in check is a huge deal and one that we need to dedicate some time to. Now let's take a look at other devices in the grow room that throw off heat. First we're going to start off with our room's natural ambient heat. There's a chart below that demonstrates this and please take a look at it now. This chart will be one of the numbers needed in calculating the heat in our grow room. It seems like we have a lot to consider, but don't trip. This cooling calculation only requires six different numbers. It's going to be your natural room heat, your light heat, your cooling air cooling reduction of that light heat, your dehumidifier, your ballast, and your CO2 burner. All right, guys, let's start this heat calculation. First, we're gonna start off with this chart, and you're gonna find the square footage that's most similar to your grow room. I'm gonna be selecting the 100 square foot one with the 4200 BTU as my starting place. Next thing is, this patient has six lights in his room. So we're gonna take these six lights times the 4000 BTU that we discussed earlier, and we're gonna arrive at 24,000 BTU. The next thing we're going to do is take our heat reduction away because we're air cooling those lights. So we're going to go modest here and go with 25% and that should take our 24,000 BTU down to 18,000 BTU of actual residual heat left over from those lights after air cooling. If we add that to our first number of 4,200, we're going to be at 22,200 BTU. The next step is to add our ballast heat. Now, this patient did it a little different based on my advice and he put the ballast outside of the room. So we don't actually have to contend with ballast heat in this room, but if you did, you'd be adding 2500 BTU for each digital ballast and 3500 for each mechanical. The next thing we need to look at is our dehumidifier. My dehumidifier is 600 watts, and dehumidifiers are gauged much the same way as lighting, except on the lower side of that threshold. Dehumidifiers commonly are about 3.5 BTU per watt, meaning that this 600 watt dehumidifier will be 2,100 BTU. Now we're going to take our 2,100 BTU from our dehumidifier, add it to our existing subtotal of 22,200 BTU, and end up at 24,300 BTU. Next step is to add in our CO2 burner. This patient happens to be using the Hydro Innovations Hydrogen Pro CO2 burner. These guys have an awesome calculator on their website that should tell you exactly how long your CO2 burner will run and how much heat it should put off. In this case, our patient's going to be running this thing approximately 5 minutes per hour and it's going to be adding 1000 BTU of heat over the course of that time. The reason for so little is because the Hydro Innovations Hydrogen Pro as well as the Advanced Nutrients Cool Flame CO2 burners remove 86% of the heat generated due to their water cooling. It's really just a killer revolutionary spin on a CO2 burner. So if we take that 1,000 and add it to our existing subtotal, we're going to be looking at 25,300 BTU of heat being generated inside of this room. Now guys, this 25,300 BTU is everything in our grow room kicking off heat. And the only problem right now is that this patient was only able to install two air conditioners totaling 22,000 BTU. Obviously we have more heat than cooling present. But, since we're using the Advanced Nutrients Badass Ballast, this is a very easy problem to fix. We're simply going to roll these ballasts back to 750 watts, meaning that we're effectively going to remove one and a half lights worth of heat off this equation, effectively removing 6,000 BTU off. This will bring us down to 19,300 BTU, and our 22,000 BTU of cooling that's installed should easily be able to overwhelm this. And this patient's going to have slamming perfect temps. He'll just need to get more AC a little bit later in the game. Guys, this is LJ for Big Buds Mad. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of How to Hydro. And thank you for all the email support and subscriptions, guys. It's been badass. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope I can keep delivering you top-rate grow information. And we will always be looking at what's on the cutting edge and trying to get it to you guys first. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you guys email me any questions or concerns at lj at bigbudsmag.com. I'll look forward to hearing from you guys. This is LJ from BigBudsMag.com, and we'll see you next time.